What is up, my friends? Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful Wednesday morning here in Arkansas. That's enchilada day. Go get yourself some enchiladas at your local enchilada store. Trust me. Mexican goodness. Tex-Mex. It's, it's, it's an amalgam of a, a, a mixture of culture and flavor. And damn it, it just, it's good. Find somebody that you normally wouldn't eat with and invite them to, and go and eat with them. Enjoy each other's company. Discuss things you normally wouldn't discuss with other people. And let them know you care. Oh, man. Still got the bronchitis, but I'm feeling better. And I, I cut my hair. That was needed. <coughs> it's awful damn cold this morning. Uh, and we're in a lull in the shop. It's, it's printing. Yeah, it's just that way. <coughs> oh. I just wanted to log in and let you know that you are a bad motherfucker. You're important. You're logically worthy. No matter what you think or think you've done or been through or whatever the fuck, forgive yourself. Move on and be happy. You make a difference in other people's lives. And you make a negative difference and a positive difference. And if you're negative all the time, it's a negative influence. Taking yourself out of the picture, it's an even worse negative influence. That's a scar that a whole family will live with for a couple of generations. So stick around, make it to tomorrow. You can't take yourself out in service of others. It just doesn't work that way. Oh, good God. So, the president's going to address uh, the nation this morning. He didn't do it last night. He thought about it, but thank God he didn't. Uh, I think it's not time to take Iran back to the negotiating table. You know, they obviously missed a lot, and they showed their lack of capability in uh, in strikes they you know they launched 22 missiles they're not saying they did they're saying they killed 80 people they didn't kill any americans last night i heard there were some iraqis killed now i'm not hearing that so numbers are being moved around on both sides and there's probably more to come from iran they say they're done that doesn't mean all the armies they have all over the place that they're sponsoring with the money Obama's administration gave them uh, will, won't attack. Because, you know, to, Iran is doing this so they can claim it's not them. So if anyone else attacks us, I don't care who it is, we need to wipe them out and we need to destroy Iran's capability of waging war. Reagan blew up half their navy. Why not do something like that? They backed down damn quick when Reagan did that. And you got Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is next in line, third in line for the presidency. So if something happened to Pence and, and Trump, she'd be it. And this, you, has anybody seen any Democrat that they would trust to deal with this situation? Regardless, if any of these people were in charge, the Iranians we would be so much more powerful, so much more capable of causing shit in that area. It, it's just ridiculous. Any any of these motherfuckers, and Pelosi especially, come out saying that we're provoking Iran. Iran has been provoking us and the world for a long time. Why else would they, well, John Kerry go around the damn world trying to get people to invest in Iran. Fucking, we give them all that money, bribing them, and now they're saying they're going to release a list of American politicians or Western politicians that took bribes in order to put in the Iran deal. P 
Please do. Do that. That's draining the swamp. You're helping Trump by doing that. Another thing. There were earthquakes everywhere in Iran. Now, religious zealots might look at that as God giving them a warning. So we'll see if that is any indication to the to the real people in Iran. They had they didn't get to bury Soleimani, dude, because there was uh, well they were using water cannons on the crowd. You know, if, if all these people were mourning that man, why would they need to use water cannons on the crowd? It just there was protests there, and they're not saying it. So much shit is going on. A Ukrainian airliner uh, crashed. 150 or so people dead out of Iran last night. And they're not going to release the black box, they're saying. Be listening for the president. See what he's got to say. I know it can go a couple of different ways, and I don't see any of the ways going bad for the United States. Or that region. I hate to call for other people's death, but we gotta do something. It's time for peace. And on the other end of war, sometimes there's peace. We'll see. Be strong, be happy, do something for somebody else. You deserve it. You're a bad motherfucker. Just think positive, be positive, act proactively, and have a good day. Have a good one. Little doggy.